y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 4 seasons so in the last part wow something very unexpected happened wyatt's world <laughs> literally has changed you know for the better i think uh definitely unexpected if you guys have not watched the last part go check it out you don't want to miss it but spoiler alert for those of you who haven't watched it stevie is pregnant he noticed that she was acting a little bit weird um, when he tried to, you know, stay the night with her and take her out the next day. She just kept getting really sick, and he even went to Carter and was like, "Dude, you know, do you think she's pregnant? She's been, she's been really sick." And you know, Carter's like, "Well, you know, it is a possibility. Maybe you should go talk to her." He went to talk to her, and she spilt the beans. She actually left their date to go take a pregnancy test, and it was positive, and she was wrecked, and not in a, I don't want to be pregnant, but what am I going to do? Because she is still struggling with her feelings. She feels like there's something missing between them. And he is struggling. He feels the same way that there's something. She feels, okay, here, let me try to explain. She feels like he's just there but not there. You know, like he's there but his heart's not 100% with her. And he kind of feels like there's something missing. But he does really care for this woman. And she is the mother of his child. And so he is going to make it work. He's going to do everything he can to make it work. Um, so they are just chatting. It's actually the first day of fall, which I'm really excited about. But she has invited him over. We are playing in her perspective um, for a minute. But I really just wanted them to, you know, have a chat. And she's just going to talk to him and kind of just be like, well, where is your head at? You know, because it's been a few days and we've kind of not really made any plans. What are you thinking? Um, and he's like, honestly, he said, I don't want to hurt your feelings by saying this and I hope it doesn't upset you but yeah I, I, I want to be with you I asked you to be my girlfriend I want to be with you and I want to be in my child's life but I don't want to kind of push things along further than what they need to be just because you're pregnant like I don't want to move in with each other you know right away because just because you're pregnant, you know, why take that step? I don't want to propose to you or, you know, anything like that just because you're pregnant. I don't want it to be because of our circumstances. I want it to be because it's genuine. And she's like, oh, honestly, I'm so relieved that you said that because I feel the same way. I would not want you to think that you're pressured to be with me no matter what happens. We're friends and we're going to be in each other's lives because we have a child together. And so, I don't know, I'm very proud of them for being so mature, um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I think he's definitely going to be an amazing father, and he is just a great guy. He's going to treat her right with all the respect, but he doesn't want to rush things. Like, he's not going to, you know, move in, go buy them a house, or, you know, anything like that until he knows for certain that he's ready for that. He's ready to propose to her, and he, he doesn't know, and so... I think that's the wise thing to do. I don't think you should just jump into something so quickly just because of your circumstances. So, yeah. Um, she, when I first came into the save file, she was actually, whoa, did y'all see that? That was crazy. Uh, but she was a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger than what she is now. But I didn't want to, you know, rush through her pregnancy. So, I kind of cheated and put her back to uh, not showing yet. So, technically, she hasn't even taken a pregnancy test. She's not even really aware. Oh, look at them kissing. That she is pregnant. Um. But, this is going to be the baby's room. Spoiler alert. Oops, I probably shouldn't even tell y'all this or shouldn't have even bothered with it. But, it is going to be a girl. I cheated and I looked. I'm super excited about it. I think that he is going to be the cutest daddy to a little girl. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited. I really, really am. So, this is going to be her room. And, like I said, for the time being, uh, Stevie is going to stay here. You know, this is her home. She's worked hard for it right now. They aren't you know, engaged or serious, and they are going to take things slow at their own pace. He obviously is going to provide for his child. He's going to come over and stay. He's going to come visit his child. She will come stay the night. You know, they're going to make it work until they're ready to take that step. So, yeah, he's definitely going to help her get some things for the nursery. And, yeah, I mean, they their lives are about to change, and I'm excited to see, you know, what happens with these two. But I really just wanted to come in and kind of see where Stevie's head was at, and she was a little bit devastated that, you know, this was not part of her plan, you know, getting pregnant, but she was, like, so flushed right now. She's like, oh my gosh, she's saying to me. He is a snack. He is just a dreamboat, and he is. I mean, look at him. But I do have the slice of mod, um, 
<laughs> in my game and so it does have her cheeks a little bit flush because she does feel flirty so i really like that mod it's really cool if you guys haven't checked it out um look it up because it's really cool there's lots of reviews on it but anyways i'm going to go ahead and hop back in i kind of want to hang out with clara a little bit today i actually think she's at work but we did get the notification that the flea market is in town so i really want to go see the flea market and it uh, looks like he's going for a jog Maybe we will run into Scott, uh, you know, the guy that she met in the last part, because she's been thinking about him. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop back into Clara's point of view. All right, so I brought Clara to the city to come to the flea market, and of course, it is pouring down rain. Cute. But that's okay. We can still come over here and uh, see what's up for sale. Why not? We might not hang out too long because... You know, we don't want to get uncomfortably wet, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't really see anything interesting here. Nothing that would really, uh, well, that's kind of interesting. But nothing that would really suit their house. There's really nothing cute for sale here. I was hoping that there would be a little bit for sale on this table. Let's wait and see if anybody, ooh, are you going to put something up? Okay, so we have these dolls. Um, um, I guess what we could do because I do want to buy something. I came all the way here. This is a cute little alien one. I haven't seen this one. Maybe come over here and purchase this, and then we can buy it for Dalton, uh, since, you know, technically that will be her little uh, nephew, I guess you would say. Nephew-in-law. Not nephew-in-law. Nephew. It will be her nephew. Once Sophia and Carter get married, that will be her nephew. So she's gotten really close with him, so she's going to buy him a cute little gift. Why not? Um, I was hoping that we might possibly run into Scott or somebody along the likes here to chat with. Uh, the rain's just really putting a damper on my mood. Everybody has black umbrellas. Why is that? <laughs> uh, but I'm not seeing anybody, which is very unfortunate. Well, would you look who it is? Oh my god, it is Scott, y'all. He is He's a snack. He's coming over here talking to Santa Claus. What's his name on here? Mr. Frost? Mr. Win Wonder Winterland? I don't know, but I don't know if that's him or not. But that's an interesting outfit, if not. But, ooh, we remember him, you know, from the gym. Oh, hey. No, 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 no. No, get back into your cute outfit. You're ruining it. Girl, come on. I had you in that outfit for a reason because I was definitely cheating and setting this little run-in up, you know, I mean, pfft, let's not even beat around the bush. So let's come over here and flatter him because we see him from across the courtyard or the basketball court, whatever, the flea market. And we're going to come over here. She's pressing her outfit. I think that's so cute. Can, is that cardigan and that romper not the cutest outfit? ever. I think it's probably my favorite CC that I found in a long time. I think it's perfect for fall. Ah, I love fall time. It's my favorite and <laughs> it's my favorite in The Sims. But she's just flattering him and she's going to give him a heartfelt compliment because he does look, I mean, dang daddy. And you know, in the last part when some of you were kind of like, no, Wyatt and Claire are supposed to be together. What is going on? Stevie can't be pregnant. Uh, Y'all are team Wyatt and Clara. And you know, I was low-key building that up, obviously. I'm not even going to try to lie. I was definitely wanting them to, you know, kind of eventually realize they have feelings for each other. Because, I don't know, I, there is a connection between them. And I think it's special. I really do. But that wasn't something that, you know, I had planned. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but... Uh, Clara does not know about Stevie being pregnant yet. Uh, he has told Carter, but he has not told her yet. Um, stop walking away from me. I'm trying to get to know you. Um, but do we ask about his career yet? Maybe not. Let's see what he does for a living. I think that's kind of important. Um, but yeah, so she doesn't know. And I'm not really sure how she's going to feel about it. Uh, I think definitely there still could be a possibility of them to you know, being together, because honestly, what's meant to be will find its way, isn't that the old saying? But let's not, you know, just turn our noses up to, you know, a possibility of there being something romantic with Scott, because look at their relationship. It's nothing forced. Like, I'm not really, okay, I, I, psh, I take it back. I did force it. <laughs> I did invite him, technically, or command him, summon him to be here to run into. But, you know, you gotta got make it work. You gotta, gotta get the ball rolling here. But, you know, they seem to be getting on. You see, their relationship's going up. They're getting to know each other. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think it's 
it's okay. I think it's okay that she dates other people and just kind of explores that. I think that they both, Wyatt and Clara, have feelings for each other, but they haven't come to terms with it yet. They haven't admitted it to each other. It's just kind of obvious. It's kind of like the elephant in the room that everybody notices except them two. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I think things are definitely going to change when Clara learns that Stevie is pregnant and that why it's about to be a father. I think it's definitely going to change the game. So I do want to kind of get to know Scott and see where things could possibly go with him. But I want to, we did ask, obviously he is single. Let's compliment his appearance. I do want them to like exchange numbers and you know, plan to, you know, hang out and get together because, um, yeah, I mean, why not? He is from Brindleton. Brindleton, I can't talk. He is from Bender. <laughs> Y'all, I can't talk! He is from Brindleton Bay as well. So, I think he lives over... Dude, get out of our way. You're you're so rude in our conversation right now. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that there definitely could be a possibility of them, you know, getting out in town, possibly. Brindleton Bay, you know, they, they have a lot in common. Uh, he's he's gorgeous. Absolutely. I mean... Why do I why do why do I do that? Why am I a freak? Why do I obsess over Sims? But anyways, she's like, oh, it was good seeing you. Uh, they did exchange numbers. Uh, I'm going to have her go back home now. I do think it's time that Wyatt kind of sits her down, or has a conversation with her to tell her that you know he's about to be a father and Stevie's pregnant. Um, ah, she's not going to. Uh, I don't know, y'all. It's confusing. I'm confused. I'm confused about these Sims, so I know they're confused about their feelings because I'm confused about their feelings. But obviously, Wyatt's her friend first and foremost, and she also, you know, respects Stevie, and she likes Stevie as a person. So she's going to be excited, and she knows that he'll be a good dad, but, you know, she has no idea that this is about to change things completely. And I think that they was just almost at that point to where they were going to kind of I wouldn't say like admit their feelings, but it's kind of something that you can't ignore anymore if you catch my drift. Um, but what is he going to grab a serving of? What is this? French toast. Actually, let's go ahead and just put this away. Why not? Um, where is Carter? Why is he still? He's still blushing. Um, <laughs> oh, but I do want Claire, after she uses the restroom, I do want her to come down here and uh, rummage for fall decorations of course we've got to get the house and everything ready for fall and then i want to set up you know the spooky day stuff when is spooky day actually <gasps> we don't have spooky day planned okay we got to plan spooky day okay so harvest fest is thursday um when can spooky day be i think we could probably do spooky can we edit this can we change the date for this like i don't really want it to be well Thursday, kind of, Thanksgiving's always on a Thursday, right? So, maybe we can, I don't want the holidays to be back and, you know, back to back. Maybe we can do Spooky Day Tuesday. Why not? I think that'll be a good one. So, let's go ahead and add a holiday. Let's do this and call it Spooky Day. Um, we're going to do Spooky Decorations. Um, day off work and school. I don't think we're going to take the day off work and school because they are adults and I do want them to go to work during the day and then possibly have like a spooky day party at night. You know, why not? So what can we do? We need to decorate, trick or treat, wear costumes, um, spooky spirit. I think that's it. I think that all makes sense for Spooky Day, so we're just going to go with that. Alright, so Spooky Day is Tuesday, and then Thursday we have Harvest Fest. So we've got some fun little plans for the fall, which I'm super excited about. But I do want her to rummage for some fall decorations. And then I want Wyatt, um, since he, no, put it down. Bella, I know you're filthy. You definitely need a bath, but for now... I want him to come over here and serve some chili or something. He does, um, you know, want to contribute <laughs> and cook. And he also knows he's about to have a serious conversation with 
with Clara, and Clara usually is the one that does the cooking, so he's going to give her a little break, kind of suck up, because, you know, he doesn't know, like I said, how she's going to take the news. Obviously, she's not going to be like, really? Because they never really had anything serious, um, obviously. It was just kind of like subtle flirting, and definitely they have, you know, feelings for each other deep down. But um, I think we're going to go ahead and have her give Bella a bath while he is cooking. So, Carter does know that Wyatt is about to be a father. He knows that Stevie's pregnant. He hasn't mentioned it to his sister, obviously. Uh, I think we definitely need to turn this uh, to warmer since it's a little bit cooler in the house. Um, but, yeah. So, he's excited for Wyatt. Like, he's like, dude, this is definitely unexpected. But, it's going to change your life. And, you know, hopefully things will continue to go well for you and Stevie, you know. And, I mean, you're going to have a little girl. So, I mean... It can't really get any better than that. So, he's definitely excited for his friend. And he's making plans of his own. I'm thinking maybe a Harvest Fest. We might have a little proposal planned. He's definitely, definitely ready to take the next step in his relationship. He definitely wants to propose to Sophia and have Dalton and her, you know, move in. I think that they would stay in this house just because... He did inherit this house from his mother and, like, his father when they passed away. And I love this house so much. And I don't know. I just... There's plenty of space, you know, for now. Um, obviously, I don't really know what's going to happen with Wyatt and Claire. Eventually, they will move out. But, you know, we can we can make it work. But I definitely think that Carter would stay here and just have Sophia move in. I mean, there's plenty of room. Why not? And I think Claire would be the one to get her own place. Um once she settles down, uh, she's just, you know, trying to get her life together. If you guys don't remember all of her drama, um, with, you know, the breakup and just being there for her mom. So we're going to put that little hen over here. Why not? I don't really see how that's fall decorations. Kind of looks pinky to me. It should be like a yellow, but I'm not going to complain. We're going to go ahead and sell this one. We don't need to. What is this? Some Harvest Fest little things. Let's go ahead and delete that put those up here cute um i think we can get rid of this now it's not summer anymore we need to get rid of our little flamingo oh i want to um i want to get patchy i do want to get the scarecrow and put it over here in her garden so we don't have any room over there for patchy but i think we can probably like stick him right here why not and I think I'm going to put this in our inventory since it isn't summertime anymore. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of that. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, it's like it's a gem or something like that. A stone of some sort. But anyways, I did want to get patchy. Kind of did. Kind of did. Kind of do <laughs> want to get festive. But yeah, anyways. Uh, I think, Carter, where are you going? To play in the rain. I mean, if you if you insist, I mean, why not go for it? Okay, but I do want you to grab a serving. And Wyatt, come sit over here. I think Carter kind of knows that he's about to uh, spill the beans to his sister and kind of, you know, let her know um, that he's about to be a father. So he's going to kind of stay out of their hair, come up here, use the restroom. Um, is there a glitch? Why is, there, why is nobody doing anything? What's going on? All right, I had a little bit of a glitch, but I have them sitting over here, and they're about to have the conversation. He's going to compliment her appearance, you know, tell her he really likes that sweater, and he knows that she's super excited about fall time. Um, and he's just going to, uh, what are what what are you about to do? Uh, get flirty? What what? Huh? Oh, he's going to give her a hug. That was awkward. Um, where, where did that little heart go? I said compliment her appearance, but I mean, does that does that mean get flirty? Apparently so. Uh, kind of tell a little bit of an inside joke with her. Claire, sit down. Stop making this awkward. Bella, you look so depressed. Uh, he knows that he's not about to be the little girl. Her, Daddy's a little girl anymore. Oh, that's sad. But anyways, ooh, looks like he's uh, kind of just explaining to her now. Hey, I do want to go ahead and uh, tell you that uh, Stevie is pregnant, uh, I'm about to be a father, and, uh, I, I am going to try to, you know, make things work with her, and I just, you know, felt like I just kind of owed it to you to, to tell you firsthand, uh, because of the situation with the date, and how it was kind of, like, awkward, and she does still think that there's feelings between me and you and she's like I mean that's crazy right no I mean I'm, I'm glad you know I'm happy for you you're gonna be a great father and Carter 
I told you to stay out of it. I mean, what has he even got in his hand? <laughs> But anyways, he couldn't stay out of it. He had to come down here, put his two cents in. He's like, I'm so excited for you. You're going to be like a great dad. And, you know, we're here for you. And Claire is like, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's fine. And I'll talk to Stevie. I mean, I understand where she's coming from. That date was kind of awkward. But, you know, you're going to be a great dad and, you know, a great boyfriend to her. And I'm, I'm proud of you. I really am. Oh, look at her face. She's kind of like, ugh. I think deep down she's like kind of devastated because there was something that she could explore possibly and she didn't expect to be feeling this way you know and he didn't expect to when he found out the first person he thought of was Claire when Stevie told him that she was pregnant the first person he thought about was Clara how is Claire going to feel like what was Claire going to think I mean and that right there kind of shows him that there's something there there's something there that they have that he doesn't have with stevie and oh i mean it's really unfortunate it really is like i didn't want to it to go this way i really really didn't but like i said i think it'd be a fun twist a bunch of fun drama that we can you know get into with it um i mean it doesn't necessarily mean that he is going to settle down and be tied down with with her forever like it really doesn't mean that at all um, but I think what he's going to do is come over here and let's see, let's go ahead, let's go for a jog. He needs to, you know, clear his mind a little bit after, you know, kind of letting loose on um, Claire, the news. Who is calling him? I hear there's a party going on, on, oh wait, what? They can't read. I hear there's a great party going down at the nightclub right now. Want to check it out? Um, maybe not tonight, Sophia. I mean, girl, come on, it's Sunday night. All right, so I do have, like I mentioned earlier, I do have the Slice of Life mod in my phone. So I think what she is going to do is send a flirty message. What the hell, Lee Pascal? What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Um, not Bradley McNeil. We're going to get send a flirty message to Scott Barrier. Uh, I think just the news <laughs> from Wyatt I just kind of has her saying, well, you know what? I, that's just proof right there that I do need to see where things could possibly, you know, lead with with Scott. So she did send him a flirty message and look, it made their little flirty romantic relationship go up. And ew, Bella, shit in the house again. Ew, that dog, I'm telling you, we like, we need to teach her how to go outside. That's just ridiculous. Uh, anyways, let's take a shower and let's get ready for bed. We need to put the fire out and whatnot. Um, I think, yeah, I'm going to have everybody just kind of like go to sleep. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I think it's been a pretty eventful. Uh, lots of decisions to be made for all of our sims here. Wyatt definitely has a lot to consider considering his life is about to change. We definitely have Carter over here dreaming about his Sophia. Definitely planning a proposal for them. So big changes coming for him too. Uh, and uh, you know what? lots of changes for Claire too. I mean, she doesn't really know yet. But you know, I think things are starting to look up for her. She's definitely finding herself again. And, uh, I, you know, it's just it's kind of cool how the seasons change obviously from summer to fall time but there's also some big seasons in their lives that are changed and they're entering new seasons in their life uh all three of them so i mean i think i'm gonna call this seasons changing or something like that because there are big changes coming to all of our sims that we're focused on here and i'm i'm really excited about it some of it was planned some of it wasn't but we're gonna roll with it and just kind of see what happens so i hope you guys like what you see so far if you do be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment all your suggestions and everything like that down below subscribe if you have not and with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.